In programming, there are two ways in which arguments can be passed to functions, pass by value and pass by reference. Some languages use pass by value by default, while others use pass by reference. Some languages support both and other view to choose. If there is something is a pass by value, right, uh, we initialize a variable uh, val is equal to 1t, then we call this function some function. We pass the value as uh, value, uh, variable value and it moves here. It is now this is a function definition. Now the value of val is copied to arg. So remember this is the actual value we created here and we pass it. There is a formal value. A copy of this value is made to arg. ARG. This is a pass value. Actual and formal points to different variables. Change made in a function is not visible to actual. Whatever changes you have added. Uh, to the value 20 plus 10 becomes 13 now but that it does not get reflected on value that's a difference so when it comes to pass by reference right uh, we, we pass the value the same way we create a variable we declare a variable initialize to 20 and pass it across then that is copy to org now what happens org plus 10 it comes here right both if both will point to same value whatever changes is made that will also get reflected in the location both will share common memory if both the variable are going to share common memory then it is called pass by reference if both the variable actual and formal variables uh, if they are going to maintain different memory locations then they are called called pass by value Execute and observe the below code which emulates the behavior of pass by value and pass by reference. In Python, we don't have to think about pass by value and pass by reference as it does that automatically for you. To emulate this using Python, we use the concept of mutability which we will explore immediately after this. So look at this one. There are two functions, change number and change list. Uh, we create a variable numval and initialize to 10 effect of pass by value we simply pass so pass by value does not um, impact the changes now we call this method um, so we print the value of num value before the function call then we call the function change number this function we are calling out we pass this value 10 so what happens 10 it actually becomes 10 plus 10. now this value is num value is different from num both are different variables and of course it has got different memory location. Let's visualize this. So we create a variable called num, numval, right? Then I print this. Look at this num value before function call. Now we call this function change number num change number of function is called, and a new variable local variable called num is created. Then num is added by ten. It, it is not returning any value by the way. So what are the changes made here is local to the function change number. So it will be it will uh, get implemented. It will get impacted only within this module. It does not show any changes outside this. So when you print it after the num value, that is also same. So num value before a function call is ten. Num value after function call is also ten because num value uses num both num value and num uses different memory locations so we're going to try the other one change list function now so we create a list with the three elements 10 15 and 10 10 5 10 and 15 so we call it before this um, before we execute this we call this let's see what is the output of this so it shows Val, val list before function call 5 10 15 then what happens we call it the program flow moves to the section and we append 20 let's visualize this look at this val list and num list both are pointing to same location they are not using different memory locations but in the previous example both are using both the num both val and the num where uh, two variables were using different memory locations so you append it creates additional memory space here and append the value look at this so this is an example of 
called by reference. So this is the output of this program. In Python, an argument passed to a function is modified inside it, whether the change is visible outside or not depends on whether the variable is mutable or not. Let us let's understand how it works. Execute and visualize the code given below. Let's look at this question. So boarding pass is equal to not issue. That's a variable. Boarding pass is the variable name. So we pass this parameter. Check in 25 equal boarding pass. So 25 is the package weight. And uh, boarding pass, uh, it'll have whether it's issued or not issued. So let's um, visualize this first. Boarding pass, not issue, it's a variable. Then we call the function called check-in. Check-in has two parameters, package and boarding pass. Look at this, this boarding pass is different from this boarding pass. This boarding pass variable is under global frame. This boarding pass is under local frame check-in. Check-in is the function name. Okay, now we check if package is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 30, it says boarding pass is issued. Weight is actually 25, so the changes will get uh, Im implemented here. Look at this. From not issued, now it is changed to issued, but it does not get reflected on the variable which is in the global frame. So that is why we don't see any changes before and after the function call. Look at this. Boarding pass before function call not issued. Boarding pass after function call is also not issued. Boarding pass a string is immutable. We cannot change. Now let's look at the other part. Passenger seat. It's a list. We know that list or list is mutable. So in global frame we got a passenger seat. It has two values jack and na passenger seat before function call right it will then what happens update seat so we are going to update that is update seat is a method name update seat takes this list as a parameter both seat list and passenger seat shares common memory okay then it comes down so this it was which was null now NA now it is updated as a 25. Let's get implemented now. If you print it, you will get the actual value. Let's run this and see the output. So passenger seat before function call was jack and NA after function call becomes jack and 25. A list is mutable, which will accept changes. 